Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to make a video that shows my graphics settings specifically through my NVIDIA GeForce graphics card and what the best settings are for it with their newest uh, driver update they came out with uh, in the GeForce Experience desktop app that you can download. Now I want to show you this because I had my settings completely jacked up that I was unaware of. I didn't even know I could really go in there and tweak the settings to make my game look better and run better uh, until recently. And I've been playing on PC now since season X. I'm kind of embarrassed about that. So again, want to share my tips, my suggestions, something I wish I would have known when I started playing Fortnite on my PC because it's going to make your game run smoother. Uh, frames per second should be higher and overall the game should just look better and that is even and I'll show you my settings right now that is even playing just like the pros where you have your view distance on four or maybe you have it on epic and everything else is off or low so we're gonna go through I'm gonna show you uh, right now specifically for me I have 144 Hertz monitor so I cap my frames per second in the game I have it 144 but I'm gonna show you my Nvidia settings and uh, show you what I mean so let's hop on over to my desktop and I'll show you exactly how to set those. So first things first, on your desktop, once you're out of your game, you're gonna wanna go to your GeForce Experience app, and this is again specifically for NVIDIA cards. And once you go into there, you're gonna see your drivers. Make sure that your drivers are up to date. Uh, the current one that I have was released on January 6th, version 441.87. With this one, I read the patch notes on it, or the, the driver details. It's pretty cool. There's some new things that they came out with in this one I'll, I'll show you, specifically around max frame rate uh, cap frame rates uh, and saving power and more. But what's cool about this one is you can now uh, reduce your frames per second and cap it uh, not just in game but on your actual Nvidia card. When I say why that's important, if you have a G Sync or FreeSync monitor, I've done a ton of research online and there's really no clear cut answer. How they work specifically is the best when you have them capped about three frames per second below your max monitor refresh rate. So if I'm at 144 Hertz monitor, I'm capping my frames per second at 141. And in my monitor settings, I can turn on my free sync or adaptive sync or G sync. Uh, if you have a monitor that can do those things, you turn that on. Capping your frames per second is gonna be the best for those things. But let's go into the actual NVIDIA control panel. I'm gonna show you what I have that made my game look way better. And I should have done this a long time ago. So right clicking your desktop, I have NVIDIA control panel. And I wanna show you if you can see this, you might have to zoom in a little bit. If you can see this, a couple things that, back to the G-Sync or FreeSync or Adaptive Sync monitors. If you haven't set that up and you have a monitor that can do it, you wanna go into here, enable uh, for full screen mode, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, uh, select your display you want to change. Mine in this case is MG248. And then click this box and it'll say something along the lines of use it uh, regardless. So select display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. They're working on it. It's getting there. I have it selected anyways uh, because my monitor says it will work. But if I go into the next settings that are going to make a, a difference for your game, you want to go to manage 3D settings and copy exactly what I have. And this is newest update. They just added in so you know uh, max frame rate. This is where I'm capping it at 141 frames per second on my card. Uh, three frames per second below uh, my 144 hertz monitor that is G-Sync, uh, Adaptive Sync, uh, FreeSync. Those are the reasons why you wanna cap it the way it is. Uh, but going back to the actual settings of what I just changed, copy everything I have, image sharpening, I believe this will be default, a lot of these might be default, but ambient occlusion off, filtering off, anti-aliasing off, if I said that right, uh, gamma correction on, uh, analyzing off these should be blurred out CUDA GPUs all DSR factors off DSR factors and why mine looked so bad it looked really pixelated and everything it was two times native resolution why I don't know but I had that selected two times resolution so if yours is that way like mine was just uncheck it so that way it'll just turn off and it's gonna look good trust me at least mine does uh low latency mode this one even if you read on here i believe it says select ultra to prioritize latency by fully minimizing queued frames in addition this mode minimizes vsync latency with both vsync and gsync are enabled uh do yourself a favor just turn this one to ultra it's really going to help if you have a laptop or a um, maybe a slower pc uh but i found that this I think regardless, this helps with latency. And there's some stats out there that shows that it really does help with gaming, even in Fortnite or any other games with latency. So turn that to ultra, the max frames per second. Again, because of my monitor and I'm able to go in and turn on adaptive sync is what I have. I'm capping it at three frames per second below my 144 Hertz monitor. So mine in this case is 141. If you don't have a G-Sync, FreeSync, adaptive sync monitor, I'm not too sure you have to really worry about this, but if you wanna do what I'm doing, fantastic, do it. Uh, monitor technology, this is where mine says 
G-Sync compatible. The rest is here, multi-frame sampled AA, off, OpenGL rendering GPU, auto select, power management mode, change that to preferred maximum per, uh, performance, and then preferred maximum, sorry, preferred refresh rate for my monitor is highest available. Shader cache uh, on, and texture filtering on, uh, next one down, allow texture filtering quality, high performance. I believe you have to change that one, it's not default. And texture filtering on, threaded optimization, auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and virtual reality pre-rendered frames one. There was something in the newest driver that talked about that virtual reality thing. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna follow what I've seen and done research on. I'm gonna leave it at one. So me doing this and updating it should be the best for Fortnite should be the best for gaming, I believe, in general. Try it out, change it, uh, see what you think. There are some other options in here that I've seen people change. I didn't do anything with my configure surround. Uh, I know some people have gone in here and actually changed this to the actual graphics card. If you want to try it, you can, but uh, otherwise you should be set up as long as you adjusted your settings like I just did in the manage 3D settings. And again, if you wanted to uh, zoom in on it, I apologize, it might be kind of small on my screen. Uh, maybe I'll try zooming in myself so that way you can actually see this thing. But this made a world of difference for me. I'm uh, really, really smooth in Fortnite. I'm loving it. I'm so glad I made this change because it just didn't look right for me for months. It's driving me nuts. Uh, this was it. So I hope you guys find it helpful. If you're new to PC gaming like I was, or you're considering switching to a PC, maybe you play on console right now. These are some of the things that I wasn't aware of when I switched from console all my years to a PC. There's so much that you can do that you can change and tweak, which is awesome. I mean, it's so cool about PC gaming because there's just a lot that you can change and, and make your uh, hardware even better. So hope you guys enjoyed the quick tip. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe for me. I really appreciate the support. Drop a like down below. Let me know you enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys. See you out there.